Hello YouTube. Uh, this is a uh, just a little help. Um, I've been having a lot of problem with this program. Um, basically, just on one part, I just purchased a, a um, Studio One Artist uh, Four, um, and I was having a problem with it. There was a part that uh, needed I needed with it uh, called a add-on. Now, as this add this add-on that I needed uh, was basically called the Studio One plugin support. Uh, that thing costs uh, quite a bit of cash uh, for to you know just for something that's so significant, so little, but uh, it does a lot, of course. So uh, basically, what we this is what. I had to do this is not on YouTube anywhere else so if anybody go looking for it this is probably the only place you're going to find it is from this video so what you want to do is after you purchase the studio one plug in support there's not anywhere else that instructs you what to do on YouTube there is no other help I barely got any help from uh, PreSonus. Um, they instructed me uh, some things to do, but I they didn't explain to me quite clear what I needed to know. So, here we go. You go in to your PreSonus software. Um, this is PreSonus 4 Artist. Now, uh, this is after you purchase your software, uh, the add-on, the studio plug-in support add-on. Okay, so after you plug, uh, you purchase it. Basically, you're gonna put view product, and it's gonna give you a download. That download is as long as you are registered. The download is going to be installed through your software internally. So it is an internal install. So what you want to do is you go up here to Studio One. Go up to Studio One. Go in there. And you go to activate purchased items and once you go in there it says all all installed items are activated it's going to give you a download it says studio one artist plugin support do you want to download new purchases from your presonus account now and you push download now what that's going to do is it's going to download that plugin support and you will from after that point be instructed to restart the program and once you restart it it's going to show this a VST uh, uh, option and basically your VST options is going to, it's going to tell you that you're able you're able to download VSTs now. Uh, it's going to say, you go in here to options. And basically, it's going to say VST plugins. At first, it's going to say instrument library. And it's not going to be anything else after that. But after you install the, v the plugin, after you install the plugin support, there will be another option there. It will say VST plugins. So, therefore, and as for people that um, want to do the plugin and install the plugin, you go to add ons and you find out what, what drive your plugin is in. Whatever program it's in, you find it. You see mine, just see that nexus there? Hit that, hit select folder. 
it will be there. You hit that and you hit apply. You hit OK. After you hit OK, you hit this little house button up here. That's going to go take you to the plugin manager. Go to the plugin manager and update plugins. After you update the plugin, uh, you can uh, just to make sure you can start it over, start the program over, and it will reload at startup. And that is the problem solved with Studio One Artist plugin uh, problem. So anybody that's having this problem, just follow those steps. And remember, install it internally, and you will fix it once you make your $79 purchase uh, for the plug-in support. Anybody that has artists will need the plug-in support. So that's what you have to do. Uh, anyone uh, that sees this video, uh, you know, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, or, um, please subscribe. You know, I'm trying to boost up my channels. I'll be posting up channels every chance I get to help people out with problems like this. Thank you. Have a good day.